Now to an emotional ceremony at today's L.A. Rams game. The team honored a special group of military members and their families. CBS 2's Greg Mills is live at the Coliseum with much more. Hi, Greg. Hi, Elsa and Peter. You know the Rams lost, as Jim was telling us about, but they really won over this special group of fans, very deserving group of fans, and they definitely won them over for life. The Rams are back home to a big ovation. One, two, and those serving our country in the military got an ovation too. Just as impressive in the Rams salute to service. Behind the scenes, the team took it even further. You don't even know how much this means to our family. Pre-game, an indoor tailgate party for this Red Brigade. Every one of these people can quickly recite the date their world came crashing down. January 26, 2005. A knock at the door told her husband, Navy Corpsman John House, had been killed in Iraq. On August 6, 2011. Son Jonas, Lieutenant Commander in the U.S. Navy SEALs, killed in Afghanistan. July 19th of 2012. Son Joshua Ashley, killed in Afghanistan. Families of 63 American fallen heroes are here today. One way I'm able to deal with it is because of TAPS. TAPS, Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors the group providing emotional help for these families who really need it. These are families from across Southern California. They're the only ones that truly understand what I'm going through. Their common bond is a hero gone too soon. The pain's so great when they think about who and what they are missing. Everything. I miss them every day. To help with the hurt, the Rams partnered with TAPS. The families got to light the torch at the Coliseum today, watch the game, and yesterday, and I was told by TAPS, this was a first, the Rams invited these families to their practice. Are you a Rams fan? Um, now I am. Each family was set up with a player for pictures, autographed helmet, and more important, some one-on-one -on -one time to just talk. I can't thank the Rams enough. Boy, they really touched these families, and some families were telling me some of the players were really invested. They actually gave them their cell phone numbers, and also at least one player said, hey, I'm going to come to one of your family activities. So really, really, these families were so impressed by what the Rams players and coaches did for them this weekend. Probably not too impressed with the game, but uh, hey, they're Rams fans for life. Elsa, Peter, back to you.